this was a specific signature hero for Iran, but Jiren picked it up and showed us a different layer that the Hilda could offer. Well, not only showing us a different layer, but at the very least, just maintaining so much control over the early game, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of these, the fact is, Dyron knows that despite getting these kills, he's not going to be able to scale into the late game as a penultimate tank. He's going to be on the weaker side of things. He can't really wave clear like Aran, but at the very least, he is slowing down Aaron Shiki from getting that third item. He is making sure that Yehezka always has to keep an eye out for that Hilda to peel away from Fabian. Yeah, I mean, this was the only fight where I feel like TL, uh, TL got the better of RRQ. Even then, RRQ <laughs> were responding, right? It's a 3v3, Aaron Shiki got some kills, but again, I uh, talked about Gatotkacha being an underrated pick, but generally speaking, Hilda, game one, caused Havoc, game two, game three, Guess cute denied the Hilda away from Team Liquid. I also think the Hilda addition into this game, there was a reason why it was first pick Cryo, especially for RRQ on red side, right? The fact that the Hilda had so much oppression into the enemy jungle disallowed Weedy to have that information into the opposite jungle, yeah. and therefore it was very difficult for Weedy to utilize the chip to its utmost value. I mean, and we see him getting punished because of that, yeah. right? With the bot uh, the bot side gank or initiation, or with the help of maybe the split push from Aran to try and pull attention away, they just eliminated the possibilities, right? As long as you're standing on top of two of those portals, and one of those portals is in a spot where you don't expect any action, it really just limits it down very, very quickly. <sighs> such, a, such a good game, brilliantly played. And again, Dyren, Edoc in this game played a crucial portion in why Rin's Sutsujin and as well as Skylar got the efficiency that they need, got the optimal yeah, farm that they need as well. All right, looking at the perhaps the post game here, mm -hmm. it's 15 minutes. It it's is not bad. I, it, it was an average of 13 to 14 minutes for our first two games. Finally, we get a little bit of a longer game, despite it only being like a two minute difference. But the one thing that I really wanted to point out here is, you know, um, shout out to Reptar or Renmar now. Uh, he always gives, you know, I want to give my flowers to a certain player. <laughs> and, you know, my flowers go out to Aran. You know, despite this loss, we yeah. saw what he was able to do on the Benedetta. It, it's very um, nostalgic to the old Aram that we used to see. Do you, do you not think so? Very individualistic. I mean, split pushing, doing a lot of his team macro-wise. Yeah, Fnatic Onyx loss against Benedetta Aran. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, of course, <laughs> I remember. But this time, it was, it's, 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 uh, it's a tanky Benedetta, you know? Um, uh, he was on the Vengeance as well. Second phase, mm -hmm. but... A very, very strong performance yet again coming from the Kings of Kings. MVP goes to the highest kills in that game. Yep, Dyron presented by the official tournament smartphone Samsung Galaxy S24 FE. And for the longest of time, he was sitting at 8 0. Yeah. Eventually, he got shut down. But I mean, at that point, Dyron already kind of did his job, yeah. right? That that oppression in the early game. I think Arashi put it uh, really well. Without that.